All right, the next is we need to open a long and a short position. This is by using the perpetuals features. So we're gonna take a look into that. I'm not really a trader, so I'm. it's gonna be my first time using this, these kinds of tools, the perpetual. I know that traders love this feature. I'm, I am here to learn and to experiment with this technology. Let's give it a go. All right, so for what I understand, and again, I'm not an, an authority in this, but you, you can either go long or short. Basically, you are betting that the price is gonna go higher than it is right now, or you're betting that the price is gonna go lower. So I have 0 0.08, so I'm gonna do 0 0.02. So I'm only gonna bet $2. And now here is the trick, is the reason why this is a, such a, a tool that traders love it, is that you can do leverage. And you can do leverage all the way up to 100, which is crazy. So I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to test it. So I'm going to go times. And basically what this is doing is that it's basically locking my soul, using it as a collateral to get a loan to buy more soul. And it's like leveraging up my soul up to five times. What does this actually mean? All right. It means that my entry price is going to be $103. Okay. Because I have a 5x leverage, if the price of Sol goes down to 83, then my position would get liquidated and I lose all my Sol, my $2 that I'm putting in worth of Sol, which, I mean, it, it could happen. It's not impossible for Sol to go down to $83. I think it's rather unlikely. It hasn't been that low in a long time. So I don't think... I don't think that's going to happen, but the, and the thing is that, why would I do this? If I was a trader, I would do this because if the price of soul goes up, then I am earning more soul. And the more leverage I put in, the more I win. But the more leverage I put in, if I went to 10, to 40, for example, now my liquidation price is a hundred, all right? It's not 80, it's 100. So the more leverage, it means that the, the liquidation price goes higher and higher, so it's more likely that a liquidation will happen, but you also stand to gain more if the liquidation doesn't happen. So that's for people that like to live on the edge. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, open a position on, I'm just gonna write it down, five. And so in order to keep this position open, you need to pay 0 0.1, which I believe you have to pay this I think it's per hour or there's, you have to pay it in a recurrent way. So you cannot have it open forever, right? Because otherwise it will be too, it will be too easy. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go long sol, And with that, we complete our tasks and we learn a, a little bit about what crazy Degen people do with uh, leverage on the perpetuals. And that's that. So now it's measuring like my entry price was 103. If I exit now, it's going to be 103 with uh, 32 cents. And my liquidation price, your new order and standing borrow fees is resulting in a worse liquidation price. Oh no. Try increasing your collateral or reduce your leverage. All right. Okay. Yeah, so we are paying 0.01% per hour to keep it open. All right, so we did that with my 